What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest AOSMP or the Android Open Source Minimal Project ROM on this device. So let's look at the ROM itself at first. To the left we have the Google Now cards on this stock launcher and this is the quick step launcher over here and if you go into gestures we do get the double tap to sleep and stuff like anywhere in the home screen and you have a lot of customizations too and as you can see double tap to sleep does work fine over here and let me just go into the settings about phone and the build date over here is the 27th august 2019 build and inside android version you can see the android version is 9 AOSMP version stable 3.0 and the security patch is latest of august 1st 2019 and here is the stock kernel which is the pure caf kernel so i would say this rom i have been using for almost two days now and it's been working fine and there are a lot of customizations and the rom feels a lot smooth and like everything is pretty sleek over here you can add a bunch of quick toggles too over here and you can see the quick toggle styles looks a little bit different so yes there are the like quick toggle changing options let me show you the stock camera over here is the miui camera and we have like all the stuff like portrait mode and stuff everything is there for the stock miui camera and if you want google camera yes you can install it because camera to api is pre-enabled on this rom so you don't need to worry at all regarding google camera and one more thing is that like banking apps like google pay does work fine right out of the box and even the ir blaster which is present up top that is simply working fine over here too i tested it with the led rgb remote app and it does work fine let me show you the settings panel over here inside aosmp settings you will find all the customizations so as you can see like other roms we do have customizations up here inside status bar we have network traffic indicator clock settings battery icon style and inside the battery icon style let me show you that we do get the q android q style battery logo and next to percentage or like inside the icon battery percentage is there vaulty icon is there and this is how it looks like it kind of look like the Zenfone Max's vaulty icon as you can see and you can have the status bar tuner to have like these kind of options like headset bluetooth etc icons you can enable it from here and 4G icon instead of LTE is there and you can change the notch behavior if you want to there is an option for full screen apps too over here let me go back quickly and inside quick settings we have the brightness slider etc and quick pull down is there we can set it to right left or always and smart pull down is there too for the quick setting toggle like panels and inside buttons we have like these kind of button volume button customization and inside nav bar we have the normal navigation bar yes you can invert the layout too if you want as you can see my back button is to the right side right now so i yes i inverted it and we have the swipe up home and stuff over here and you can also adjust the portrait height landscape width and pulse for this navigation panel so that is really good and we also have smart bar and fling option for this navigation bar go to the gestures now we have the oneplus kind of edge gestures over here and then we have android stock settings where you will find the screenshot so swipe to take screenshot gesture is working fine and also this scroll thing over here is present like the pixel experience plus rom and this works super fine with the scrolling screenshots or like taking long screenshots and over here we have the double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the status bar as well but the feature which is missing over here i would say is the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar that thing is simply missing other than that the double tap to sleep and stuff everything is working fine over here in this rom and inside lock screen i would say one thing is missing again that you will find the like face auto unlock lock screen charging info and stuff but there is no always unlock with fingerprint option so that is simply missing and inside clock style you can change it however you want i have changed the clock style on the lock screen a little bit let me show you this is how it looks like for me right now as you can see looks pretty dope i would say not bad and you can also change the date style and stuff from here i have been using this dark with gradient borders and you have the weather and stuff over here and height status bar and stuff is there for lock screen let me go back inside power menu we do have the advanced reboot let me show you that this is there as you can see the advanced option is there and you get the directly rebooting option to recover your fast boot and etc options and screen of power button torch is there so that you can just like lock the device 
and hold the power button to toggle the torch so as you can see it works flawlessly no issues whatsoever with this and the fingerprint scanner speed is decent over here i would say as you can see it's fairly fast when compared to other roms so i have no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner speed over here in this rom and inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option over here and less boring heads up and stuff is there in call vibration stuff is there battery charging light is there so notification led customizations are there pretty much and there is an option to like show a notification for bat when battery is fully charged so you can enable it or disable it and inside recents we have the recent panel changing option to pi or audio style let me go back and inside misc we have some kind of like wake lock blocker and stuff like that and inside display you will find most customizations for the like ui you will find the device theme changing option to light or dark or automatic then we have double tap to wake and pocket detection as well as night light and stuff and auto brightness stuff is there and over here here we have like pretty much every accent color and we, here we have the material palette colors as you can see lot of options then we get android q kind of colors i have been using this blue i think and we have the familiar brand colors kind of over here so no colors are missing over here i would say for the accent color and you can switch the styler kind of over here like the toggles and stuff i think to default material design to one plus narrow content retro stockish and a lot of options are there and you can even change the fonts over here as you can see there are a plethora of options for the fonts maybe not as much as have a or something but yeah there are plenty of fonts option so that is all regarding the display customization now if you go into sound let me show you that there is no me audio direct or something like that but even though it's not there the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty good over here and it's pretty loud fairly loud i would say when compared to miui it's on par with miui i would say the sound quality is pretty great it's pretty loud and then we can disable the touch vibration charging vibration and stuff like that from the sound settings and now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here now let's open facebook twitter play store youtube Spotify. Now let's open Instagram too. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. As you can see, the app open up speeds are pretty fine, and even the animations are working fine over here. And as you can see, all the apps stays in memory. So this is the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and I would say the memory management over here is pretty decent. Not bad at all regarding like this ROM. Memory management is pretty like usable over here. Now let me open PUBG quickly and show you guys in which settings you can play PUBG on this ROM. So here is the graphic settings. I would say it is not good that we have only smooth and medium. Then we have balanced and medium. Then the HD settings is simply not present over here. So no high options are present for PUBG. So I would say if you are a gamer and if you play PUBG a lot on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, I would say do not flash this ROM maybe because you won't get the balanced and high settings or smooth and high settings over here in this ROM. And the HD settings is simply not present over here. And faulty calling is working fine over here. You get the video calling option and stuff but kind of does not work. And over here the recording call option is present as you can see. So no issue whatsoever regarding the dialer I would say except for video calling. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that like inside system you won't be finding any kind of system updater over here. And if you want to flash this ROM, I would say if you are not a gamer, you can definitely try and flash this ROM. But if you are a gamer who plays PUBG a lot, I would say do not flash this ROM. This won't be a perfect ROM for you. But in terms of daily driving, like with medium kind of usage, I would say there are plenty of options and customizations over here. You also get the double tap to sleep and stuff anywhere on the home screen. So that is really convenient for some people, I guess. So you can definitely flash this ROM if you are a normal user. So thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now